Water woes in Chesapeake, neighbors in the Navy working together to make sure wells aren't contaminated. And that is our top story at 11. Thanks for staying up. I'm David Allen. There are concerns that harmful chemicals may be seeping into wells from the Northwest Annex. Now the Navy is testing each private well one by one for contaminants known as PFAs. Tonight they held a meeting to give neighbors a better understanding of what's happening and what to expect. Janu Her starts us off tonight. The U.S. Navy isn't taking a potential water contamination in Chesapeake lightly. At the Naval Support Activity Hampton Roads Northwest Annex Thursday, the Navy held two open houses for those nearby whose water wells may be at risk. About uh, December 2018, we tested one of the wells out here, an inactive well, and detected PFAS, uh, which is a uh, the EPA considers an emerging com contaminant in the water. Captain Jonathan Klein with the Navy says although they don't know for sure if residents' water is contaminated or not until testing is done, they're doing their part to make sure everyone is safe. Tonight is all about uh, informing the community of what we found and then getting them to sign up if they have a private well, getting them to sign up to agree to that sampling that the Navy will do. But they're not doing it alone. They've partnered with multiple agencies. We do have very strong partnerships with the City of Chesapeake, uh, Department of Environmental Quality, Department of Health is here. Uh, we also have the EPA. And at the meeting was the City of Chesapeake reiterating the importance that they work closely with the Navy to make sure residents are taken care of. Obviously the Navy has the lead because this issue originated or appears to have originated on base. So we're in a support role supporting our residents and the Navy however we can and need to in order to make sure our citizens are best served. David Jurgens, the director of public utilities, says the city will continue to pitch in until all the Navy testing is done and residents are in the clear. And it's our joint goal to provide our residents the best service. We don't anybody want anybody to lose sleep down here because of water quality. That's why we're providing the alternative water point, which is coming out of the city water system right there at our water plant. All right, Chinu is following this story for us from the uh, newsroom tonight. And Chinu, how does this alternate water point work? Well, David, residents can go fill up clean water for free at the city water plant. That's at 3550 South Battlefield. And of course, we do have a map of exactly where that is on our website at this story at 13newsnow.com. Chinu, thanks. So what are PFAs and why are they dangerous? They're typically used in firefighting materials, oil and water repellents, and nonstick cookware and more. That said, the health effects on humans are still up for debate. Some studies link the chemicals to higher rates of cancer and weakened immune systems.